Hey, Dodo, welcome to Epic TV Weekly. Thank you very much. Congratulations on uh, your climb out of reality. What an amazing achievement. How did you decide upon this route? All my life, I was looking for something like a combination of uh, mixed climbing, alpine climbing, means uh, something like a big wall with 50% of ice, 50% of rock, and in altitude and with the uh, difficult climbing. So everything in, in one. So you take off on the, the first day of the route, and, and what's the climbing like? You are looking for some sledge climbing, and it's uh, always uh, horrible because it's unprotected. Yeah, you are in a sledge, and you don't want to use the bolt because my idea didn't use the bolt. Yeah? So the first day it was really tricky. All right, so you get to the bivy that night, and it, it sounded like uh, that was one of the better bivvies of the route. I wanted to climb a little bit higher because it was looking like a good ledge. But the problem was that in a crack, it was a lot of water. So it was just going down, and it was a big crack. So it was not possible to protect it, even to climb it, because it was a lot of water. The water go here and go out somewhere there, down. So I decided to stay there and wait till morning, because during the night, the water gone, and in the morning it's possible to climb. So we slept on a small ledge. I call it as a double bed. Open bivy, all right. And so the, it, the, the water freezes overnight, and the next day you're able to climb? Yeah, in the early morning we just pick it, and uh, then it was the crack. It was clean without the water, so it was possible to continue up there. And then on the second day, another problem, it was the Ovid. Uh, you know, I'm from Slovakia, we are we're not used to climb the Ovid. I'm not a uh, Yosemite climber, yeah. <laughs> so it was a big problem for us. Right, and just to let uh, everybody know, an off-width crack that's uh, wider than a ham jam. Not... Yes, yeah. Yeah, and to use the, the biggest cam, I think it's a great six or something like that. Uh, and this was a problem because it was raining maybe two or three hours, and uh, uh, and then it was like just again like another waterfalls, waterfalls, and if you are inside the uh, Ovid, so the water is again coming from here down, all body wet. So and you are only on the second day in the state, so it's uh, not not good. Yeah. But we are very lucky because we find a good place for Bibi first and the last time when we use the tent. <laughs> I'm surprised you thought there might be a place to put it up. Yeah, but look on me, I'm older. <laughs> yeah, I'm up to 30, so I'm getting older, and I need a little bit of comfort. You get through the off the next day you start off, and uh, you get into the, what is it, the, is it the mixed climbing next? It's uh, like big wall, eight climbing, something like that, few rope. Here we find super good ice climbing, and I really enjoy it, really. It was difficult, it was, for us, it was not possible to free climb it. So at the end of the day like that, you must be really tired and look forward to a nice, comfortable bed. Yeah, it was really difficult. It was maybe 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, so in the midnight, and we still didn't find a good place for Bibi, because we, we've been in a big ice core, very steep, up maybe 60, 70 degrees, so it was very steep. It was not possible to find any ledge for the tent, even to just for sitting. Suddenly, Michal, he was just he was a younger, crazy man, yeah, and he said, I can fuck for it, yeah. <laughs> and he just put everything from the whole bag uh, out, leave the whole bag, and he, he went inside the whole bag. And he, <laughs> I was sleep here. Yeah, I was sitting on a small ledge, yeah, and I was just uh, dreaming about his whole back. <laughs> <laughs> so you may be getting old enough where you have to have a sleeping back, but you're not old enough that you have to have a portal ledge, huh? <laughs> yeah. I, I, was, I was happy with the sleeping back, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but. So, uh, day four. We were very surprised that, uh, that, that it was not easy climbing. It was still difficult. Ice climbing, like six great ice, uh, 20, 30 meters, uh, really steep, 90 degrees, sometimes overhang ice. And, you know, you are still in the five, eight, something like that. So you are in the altitude and you are climbing serious ice. On the end of the day, when you reach the 
top of the sewer, it was no way to sleep up there because when it was snowing, the all snow from the, the easier terrain just went down. So I decided that, okay, we can try to make a BB somewhere where it's uh, more safer. So I find a place and we try to dig uh, some hole or some, some ledge or something like that. But again, it was not really possible because it was ice. We, are, we were still in the 70, 60 degree ice terrain, so it was really difficult. Suddenly, our stool fell down. It was not an old stool, but it was uh, just a part of the stool, so the from the, the boat from the jet boat. The top, and the part that holds the water. Yeah, when I saw it, I think I lost the 20 years, really. It was something for me that, okay, and what's going now? I'm thirsty. I did, I, during the day, I, I drank maybe half a liter of water or something like that, so nothing. Also, Michal, it was very thirsty. We've been in 6,000 meters. And, yeah, it was a very hard decision what to do now. Because, you know, without the water, you are... It tried to warm the ice, yeah, and catch the drops from the ice. So only one water, what I found, it was from my blouse, yeah, it was very wet. So I... Drink by oh. <laughs> uh, it was quite good. In the morning, uh, Michal has the idea that uh, try to open the gas cylinder and warm the water inside the gas. Uh, it was not possible to drink it. Okay. So in this moment, I decided, okay, up or down? Yeah, it was the question. We will maybe four hours. 400 meters up to the top to the main summit of the Great Jungle, it was a decision. Because if you go down, I know that uh, we are not going back again. Yeah? So it was very hard for me. And But again, you, you can choose. You would like the main summit or you can choose your life. Yeah? So at that point, I decided to go down, find the water, drink the water, and just go to the base camp. Yeah? Yeah, it took all days, but uh, we've been happy. Maybe at 10 o'clock in the evening, we've been back in the base camp and drinking so, with our friends. So we were so happy to to arrive from this route. In the Chang'e Valley, there are still many unclimbed peaks and many nice projects. And I think it's what to do there, really. I like the place. Right on, Dodo. Well, once again, congratulations to you and your partner. Great job. Thanks for joining us on Epic TV Weekly. Really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you very much, too.